Hello, in this video we're gonna talk about the differences I used to port the Sprite Kit version of the Cut the Rock game into Cocos 2DX and I'm gonna talk about uh, building for Android using uh, Xcode. After you have uh, downloaded the game template provided in the description of this video or on the tutorial uh, webpage and unzip the archive, you will uh, have a folder just like this and if you go into the give me candy and then in the resource folder and then look in the backgrounds for example you'll notice that uh, each image is uh, differently than um, on the sprite kit uh, counterpart of uh, this uh, tutorial in um, Cocos 2DX in order to support both uh, iOS and Android and uh, all other uh, devices uh, the images must be placed in uh, folders so um, if you go into the level helper over here into the in, and open your scene in the project settings over here you will have you'll notice that you have these suffixes for the Cocos 2DX uh, version so you have HD 568 uh, iPad and iPad HD so you'll need to create these uh, folders exactly with the name of these uh, suffixes and uh, add the images required for uh, for this uh, uh, suffixes in here and all the images should be named the same so for the uh, bamboo forest background the image name is the same and um, the image size it's actually different on uh, on uh, each uh, device so uh, as you can see I have uh, the iPad HD and the uh, 568 background open and uh, they are different so uh, this is the only requirement for Cocos 2DX in terms of image files and uh, of course all the sprite sheets and uh, levels files will be automatically generated as it's required for Cocos 2DX so you don't have to worry about that another requirement is that you need to place these uh, folders the published resources and uh, the folder where you keep your image files in my case it's called backgrounds you need to place it inside the resource folder this is so that uh, when you build for Android it, uh, they also get uh, copied as resources for the Android app and everything builds uh, correctly difference from the sprite kit version of uh, this tutorial is the fact that the ropes will have a tiling texture and if you go in the preview mode over here you can actually see that uh, the rope has a vine texture uh, onto it so uh, if I go to edit over here then in the scene navigator over here and I select my rope over here and then over here I will have the option because I have uh, the Cocos 2DX uh, engine selected in the project settings I will have the options to use the texture and uh, so let's disable this for a moment let's remove uh, the texture so I'm gonna choose use texture and now we're here of course I don't have any texture so what I have to do is click over here and then drag and the scene is out of uh, the project uh, um, navigator is automatically switched and I need to go to the backgrounds over here to the vine texture I have over here uh, set up in the, my background into my background uh, folder and I must uh, release on top of it and now I have a vine texture uh, so let's go to simulate while I still have the rope selected and you can actually change the thickness for example I can choose 12 to make it um, less thick let's uh, revert it back to 32 and you can actually change the repetitions on uh, the U and V scale so if I choose 4 as you can see the texture is um, getting real dense on the V side and you can also do it like this for example if I choose 2 I'll have uh, actual uh, two actual vines connected for uh, for the rope over here but uh, one it's uh, it's enough so depending on your uh, on your texture you may uh, want to use uh, different uh, settings over here now it is important that this uh, texture over here is power of 2 so if i go over here and um, choose show in finder um, if i select this vine and then do show inspector 
and also you can look inside the project navigator on the sides over here it's 32 by 128 so uh, both the wide and height must be power of uh, 2 so that the texture gets uh, generated correctly into OpenGL and the uh, tiling texture can uh, be be created if you don't do this you may uh, also get in uh, when you compile you may get an error in um, Coco Studio X actually when you when you run the application it may complain that uh, you're trying to tiling the texture but uh, the texture is not tileable because the size it's uh, not uh, a power of 2 Now, in the project folder that uh, you got for this uh, tutorial, you'll see that there is a folder called Project RS Mac. So, um, extend that and you'll have the Give Me Candy Xcode project. So, double click to open it in Xcode. And over here, you'll see that you have four targets. You have the iOS target uh, using Box2D, the Mac target using Box2D, and the Chipmunk target. Now, this is not fully supported as the collision handling is not... Uh, uh, implemented in uh, Chipmunk yet, and you also have the Android uh, build target. So let's go ahead and uh, build a Mac target just so we know that uh, it's working and I already have it uh, compiled. So uh, everything uh, works as it should. Let's uh, do the cut the rope thing over here, and as you can see in the logs over here, I have a failed game because. Uh, the candy didn't land on the on the bird so let's close this and now let's switch to the android build target now before you actually can build for android you need to uh, to do certain things that you only need to do once for uh, your computer so let's go ahead and uh, select our give me candy xcode project and over here select the android uh, build target go to the build phases tab over here and change these three paths for uh, ant root and the k root and under it as the k root to match uh, the ones that um, are for your uh, computer now you may say i already have this uh, uh, set up in my uh, in my path but uh, when you build the for in uh, side x code that the path is not uh, handled so you actually need to change this once on your computer and then uh, it will be saved and you don't need to uh, change it again now um, this uh, target over here is set up to run on the Geni Motion simulator. So uh, you need to go to the genymotion.com uh, and uh, create a free account if you don't already have it. And after you do that, just uh, open the Geni Motion uh, simulator over here. Uh, that, that you just uh, installed from genymotion.com. So, uh, create a virtual device and then uh, double click or uh, click on the play button to actually open uh, the simulator in my case the simulator is a simulator with uh, 124 by 768 uh, screen size and you can uh, create whatever uh, screen size you like the more the better to uh, to test on all the on all the on all devices so uh, now that we have the simulator opened let's just uh, close this and leave only the simulator open you need to take care of one more thing you need uh, in order for android to build now uh, cocos dx has a bug or android has a bug i haven't really investigated the, uh, that match you need to make sure that the path to your project doesn't contain any spaces if it contains spaces the build will fail now the next thing you uh, you need to do is um, actually build. So go over here and click on this. And you can actually, if you go to the uh, rightmost tab to the show log navigator, you can actually see the logs over here. So it will show you the build uh, process going on over here. And you can actually see the builds. And when the build finishes, it will open automatically the folder containing the APK file, but it will also open and run uh, the application into your Android simulator. That's why the Android simulator needs to be open uh, prior building, because uh, it wants to install the APK file into the simulator and run it. Now, if you go and uh, look into these logs, uh, right now I don't have... Um, the log uh, that I'm looking for over here because I already 
previously built so let's go ahead and do a clean build so if you go to the project android over here you will have these libs over here and object files over here and as you can see it's object the object files are created for x86 uh, platform this is because uh, the Genie motion simulator is uh, x86 but the actual android uh, device is not uh, x86 so let's go ahead and uh, move this to trash and now let's do another build let's select that process and as you can see over here it compiles for x86 because that's how it, it is set up to to compile it needs to and if you have an error like I have over here it will uh, tell you about it. Uh, it the error it's probably because I didn't remove all the um, all the build uh, uh, files that I have previously created so let's uh, go over here you have this folder called Android and if you go to the Android MK you'll see all the header files and the source file that needs to be compiled in order for the Android app to be built so uh, make sure if you have folders over here to include those two and if you go to the application MK you will see over here that it says compile for Genie Motion so you need to have the x86 platform selected over here and if you need to compile for an actual device or for the default Android simulator just uncomment this and uh, comment this over here and that will make sure that uh, it uh, compiles for the Android sim uh, device or the actual device and uh, the APK will run on the actual uh, device so uh, that's all you need to take care when uh, you need to handle uh, Android so uh, I really encourage you to use the Genie Motion Simulator because uh, it's very fast and it lets you set up devices uh, with a different resolution you can have uh, lots of uh, simulator and you can see exactly what's uh, what's going on and of course if you need to see the logs you just open the terminal and uh, do adb log uh, cat and uh, uh, that will be all to see the actual logs from the application